Hi, my name's Alan, and welcome to another episode of Affinity TV, where we give you bite-sized chunks to keep your learning simple. Today, we're going to take a quick look at how you can create your own one to five star rating system for your images inside of Affinity Photo. Now, for some of you, this may not be an ideal solution. For some of you, it may, and great. So for those who have kind of given up with the whole CC subscription package, and you know, with Aperture no longer being supported by Apple, you know, Apple's photos may not be for you, or where do you stand, where do you store, and organize your pictures until we have a solution from the guys over at Affinity who you know, are working on an alternative solution. Well, there are some great tools built right inside of your Mac that may help. So let's jump in and let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna start with Lightroom. If I just switch over to Lightroom. So the way I generally used to work inside of Lightroom was, you know, I'd organize my pictures and then I rate them uh, just to narrow down from the thousands that I took and then only work on those that I've given, you know, maybe a two, three, four star rating and only focus on those. So inside the Lightroom, similar to uh, Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer, you know, you've got these different modules. So library, develop, map, similar to these personas over here inside of Affinity Photo. Now, personally, what I think would be great and amazing is having something similar like this, a library persona inside of Affinity Photo where I can start and organize and rate my pictures. So hopefully, um, you know, I know the guys are working hard. So hopefully soon enough, we'll have a real solution. But in the meantime, I was gonna take a quick look at my workflow. So once I've been pulled inside the Lightroom, what I would usually do is come down and use these stars down here to rate my pictures. So I may select this one and say, this is a two star picture. I may look at this and go, do you know what? It's only a one star. This one I'm happy with and I say it's a three, etc. And this one, yeah, I might give this a four star rating. And generally I'll go through and just give this a rating. So then when I've gone through found the best pictures, found the ones that I only want to work on, I can then filter them out and say, do you know what? Only show me my two star and higher pictures. Only show me my three star and higher pictures and only focus on those. Well, how do we recreate something similar to that inside of Affinity Photo? First of all, if I head back to Affinity Photo and I come up to the view menu in the menu bar and I scroll down to media browser, Right now, this is looking at my finder and a folder that I've got created with all of those same images. So if I just switch back to the finder, there we go under pictures, uh, Greenwich Park, and there are my images. But right now, there's no way to filter them out. I would have to go through all of those pictures to work out which ones I want to work on rather than focus on my, my favorites, my two star, my three star pictures. So there is a little hack a little workaround I'm going to show you, and again, it may not work for you, but there certainly is a workaround. So I'm going to head up to my Apple icon in the top left of my screen, and I'm going to go over to System Preferences. Okay, so I want to select Keyboard and Text. And this up here, we've got Text Replacement. In this example, OMW will be replaced with On My Way. So I'm going to click on Plus, and I'm going to type in 1, hold down the shift key, hold down the number eight key to get the little star. Anytime I type one star in, what do I want to replace it with? Well, I want to replace it with one star. So let me double click here, head up to the edit menu, come down to emojis and symbols. And if I type in the word S-T-A-R star, and then we have a golden star. So I'm going to click and it goes and enters it for me. So now on my Mac, Anytime I type in one star, it's going to be replaced with one gold star. So I'm gonna do another one. So I'm gonna do two stars this time. Two, hold down the shift key, press eight. Let me just go back to this one and select the star, command C to copy, and replace it with two stars. So I've just pasted those in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do three, four, and five. Okay, great. So now I've got my five star rating system. I want to add one more, so reject. So if there's any images that I have that I think, mm, actually, do you know what, they're not so great. I actually want to add a red mark to it as a reject to say, do you know what, let's not focus on those ones. 
So again, I'm going to click on plus. And now the text replacement actually requires a minimum of two characters. So in my case, I'm going to choose XX. And I'm going to replace it with, again, heading up to the edit menu, emojis and symbols. And I'm going to search for cross. And this time I'll actually want to choose this red cross. So let's put that in there. So I've got my five star rating system and my reject system. So I can close that now. And let me head back over to my finder. And there are my images. Okay, so as I go through them, I can select a few of them. And let's see which ones I like. So let me select a few of these. I can right click, come down to rename three items. In this case, because I have three items selected. And there's a few options available. I actually want to have add text selected. So it's going to add some text at the end of my naming system. So in this case, let's say I want to add the two star rating system that I created inside our system preferences. So I'm going to press two, hold down the shift key. Let's press eight and there's the two stars. Let's press enter and then rename. So I'm going to go through, select a few more. Let's right click these, choose to rename. And this time I'm going to say they're three stars. So three, the shift key, the eight, it creates the three stars and then press rename. And let's select a couple more. Let's right click, rename again. And this time I'm going to type in five and create the five star system and press enter and then rename. So once I've gone through and renamed those images or added a text at the end of those images, once I head back to Affinity Photo, and again, look at my media browser. And if you don't see that, you can go up to the view menu and choose media browser. So now on this search field down here, I can type in only show me my two star and higher pictures. So I'm gonna type in two, shift key, press the eight. There's my two stars that up here, press enter. It's now only showing my two star and above pictures. So if I get rid of those, let's say I type in five star, press enter. It's now only showing me my five star pictures. So if I wanted to, I can head back to my finder and let's select this one and this one, right click, choose to rename two items. And this time I actually want to press XX as a rechecked, press enter, rename. So when I head back to Affinity Photo and let's clear this search out and I'll type in XX, press enter, it's now only showing my rejects. So there you go guys. That was a quick look at how you can create your own one to five star rating system inside of Affinity Photo. Now, like I mentioned earlier on, it may not be an ideal solution for you, but it's certainly an idea that a lot of you may be able to work with. One thing to be mindful of though is of course, the media browser doesn't import raw images. So if you're storing and organizing your raw images inside a finder, when you use the media browser, it will bring a JPEG version for you. Now, of course, you can always go file and open and import the RAW, but if you want to use this rating system using the media browser, it will be using JPEGs. So if you guys have any questions or any thoughts around this, do let me know, leave me a message, drop me a comment, and hopefully I'll be able to answer those questions for you. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon on another episode of Affinity TV.